Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here to talk about lifestyle apartments. Lifestyle apartments is a two words I want you to take away with you and put it in your strategic plan for next year. It is something you're going to hear more and more about in the future. And it gets back to how are we going to be able to get those seniors out of their homes and into our ILUs. So we start with a great communication campaign, right? We have all these internet sites, we have all these things we talk about, lifestyle, choice, live to the fullest in our current places. At the same time, that consumer is reading the same publications that their boomer children are. So they're looking at these great kitchens, these great places, these wonderful spaces, and they're all excited about coming into your places. And in fact, at the same time, if you look at TV shows or movies, Jack Nicholson is 75 years old and he's in this great kitchen with Diane Keaton. So again, that consumer is looking at what are they going to move into. So again, as we look towards the future real estate market continuing to get better, and we think about that silent generation consumer really excited about moving into your places, right? They're all set. And in fact, when you finally bring them on the great tour of your campus, and you show them those fabulous restaurants and those great wellness rooms and those great espresso bars and all the things and they go, wow, lifestyle, you finally got it, you understood it. And then we bring them into the closing room and what do we do? We show them real estate and said, well, would you like to pick the new carpet? Would you like to pick your color Corian? And they go, wait a minute, I'm now in this 900 square foot apartment and you don't understand anything about me. So what, in fact, before we brought you into that closing room, we gave you a survey. And that survey is, starts to talk about how you live, exceeding your expectations when you move into that retirement community. And in fact, wait, wait. In fact, we'll actually have these kinds of things available for you in your apartment. So whether or not it's a, a stick on the wall fireplace or a, a wall that turns around or you push a button and your bed comes out, maybe you don't even need a bedroom. And then we give you this great survey. And we ask about your lifestyle. We ask about, do you like to cook? Is it cooking important to you? Or do you have a wine bar? Or do you like to watch movies every night? And we basically start to extrapolate that information as part of that survey. The next part about it, we haven't shown you that apartment, we start to drill down and ask you some basic questions about your finances, right? How much income do you really have to be able to translate that into an entrance fee? And in fact, then, then we actually then use that lifestyle survey, which then generates your apartment, right? All of those things you like to do, the kitchen is the most important thing, so why aren't you having a bigger kitchen? This is my lifestyle apartment. If I can only afford 900 square feet based on my actuarial, I basically have a room that's got this big pivot wall. So I got pizza and movie night. In fact, I press a button and the bed comes out. I don't need a bedroom. We talked to other seniors and said, what's your real focus? What do you want to do? 900 square feet. This woman doesn't really want a bedroom. She wants an exercise room. Person in the middle doesn't want a bedroom. He's actually replacing it. So again, you think this is pie in the sky? You think this is something that's 10 and 15 years away? This is now. This is Moorings Park in Naples, Florida, where next week we've got 28 apartments that are finally opening up and people are moving in. So what we did is actually started with what their potential entrance fee would be, which generates a square footage. We went to market with no floor plans. It's like the Seinfeld show, right? It's about nothing. But we sat down with them and said, really, what is it you want? So this happens to be the piecing together of all of these residents that we interviewed. This happens to be the Sheffield's apartment. So they were intrigued by starting from scratch, and this is what they got, a 700 square foot deck where they actually built their own Japanese garden. And in fact, we sold these all out. Largest unit is 5,000 square feet. We got people that never ever thought they would leave their single family home and got them to do this because of the process of lifestyle. So these are the Sheffields. We interviewed them as they're moving in and they said, you know what, we never would have left our single family home if you wouldn't have talked about our lifestyle first, which motivated. Lifestyle apart, matching expectations with lifestyle. 
It's the future. Put it in your strategic plan. I'm Dan Sinelli with Perkins Eastman. I'm in booth 1425. Thank you.